we get things moving. Grand final time. Straight off the get-go, it will be Kerwin. So high school with their first chance to bring it back. We've seen batter once more. Deep in the pocket now, Carbone attacking the line now for Brooks, but jamming up out of the line, Thorburn. A good tackle that had to be made. But still alive now for Kerwin. Cut pass out wide and unmarked. And bringing it around for good measure. And first points to David Benioni. Bit of momentum and confidence now. Uh, the Bears, left-hand side, Savilio. Tries to bash his way over up from close quarters. He's there for Whaley now, having a snipe on his own. Jay Whaley gets there. Strength, power, and four more for Kerwin. Ellison. Setting up the platform, what can they offer? As the reinforcements arrive, Jack Townsend off the bench, setting the tone. Just five away, quick recycle. Leading for the penalty on that occasion. Centre field now, options left and right. Daly fires it right hand side. She is the skipper. Hunter Harris fires it for the corner. And now for the finish, Saren dots it down. And there's the response from St. Patrick's College. So here they go again, Van Zanden. Carbone having a crack in the short side. And now Brooks trying to do it all on his own. The skipper today, Logan Brooks. Van Zanden plays short. Savilio, he'll back himself from close quarters. It's been ruthless from Kerwin thus far, playing short again. And now around the corner. And there's that ruthless intent on full display. And Kerwin, strike once more. Come back and play it. Now for Daly. Just takes the hit on his own, does Big Darcy. And this will be the last for St. Patrick's. Can they make this opportunity count? Left-hand side, McSherry puts the grubber through and goes straight in the arms of Benioni. And now he palms away. And here goes David Benioni. The cover's coming across. She is. The fend is a good one. And Benioni for the corner. Hunter Harris holds on for dear life. But he won't get near him. And David Benioni goes 100 metres for Kerwin State High School. What a personal try that was by Benioni. He's gone the whole length of the field. For work off his wing. As is this man, Cohen Dittman. And Dittman goes through. He's so strong. He's very fast. Cohen Dittman on the outside. And he says, see you later. Cohen Dittman. One of the tries of the year. And a scintillating score for Kerwin. Had points that make it a little bit more respectable. I'd like to see him get it to the edges. Well, once you get close to the try line, it gets even harder to get it out wide. Let's see if they can create something. So Toby now fires it out to his captain, Shears. Short to Mezzan, who gets picked up and served on the Mackay turf. Still alive now for St. Patrick's. Caleb O'Brien, he'll play it just a metre short. This is his third try in this matchup, McSherry. McSherry has a go on his own. Fall short. Toby, Toby from close quarters. And Joshua Toby finds a way through. Adam McSherry and Toby now trying to find the final say for St. Patrick's Harris out the back door. Getting off of the way. He goes Saren down the right edge. This is better from St. Patrick's. But driven to tackle, the scramble is a good one. And here goes Whaley with ball in hand. And that'll be full time. It's redemption like no other. And for the first time since 2020, Kerwin are the Aaron Payne Cup champions in a clinical performance. Full time score 24 points to 14.